Hello YouTube subscribers and watchers, this is Anki and you are watching Slide Nerd. Welcome to a new series of Math, Mental Abuse to Humans. Let's try and desimplify this abuse. First, today we're going to learn about how to cube a number. You're going to follow two simple steps. First is breaking the digit, the number basically, into two parts, as the tens place and the units place. Second is using this particular formula and let's see how do you actually use this formula. So here I have an example of 54 cube. I'm breaking this number into a tens place and units place as 5 and a 4. Next I'm using the formula which is tens cube. Next part is tens square into unit. Then next is tens into unit square and then is the unit cube. So I, what I get actually is 125, 25 into 4. 516, 64. Now the trick out here is to actually stack over the numbers. Keep the first number as it is and the remaining numbers units place is fixed as it is. So what I get actually is 125 the first number, the units place of 100 is 0, 80 is 0, 64 is 4. Now the tens place is stacked over the units place of the previous number so 6 goes over the 0 of the 80, 8 goes over the 0 of the 100 and 0 goes over the 5 of 125 and 1 goes over the 125 is 2. Next part of the step is to multiply the middle two numbers that is 180 by 2. So what I get is 200 and 160. Now the trick out here after multiplying by 2 is you got to shift the second number is 200 by one position from 1 to 5 0 0 4 and shift 160 by two positions from 1 to 5 0 0 4. So you can see how the 6 160 is actually shifted from two positions that is 1 and a 2 so it starts from here so write 1 6 0 and 200 is shifted by one position from 125 so 125 is out here shifted by one it starts below two now what you actually get is an array of columns so you have column one column two column three column four column five and column six now if you add the columns what you get is the result so you have a four and nothing else four six plus zero is six eight plus six is fourteen one carry over four 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 1 is 7 so you have a 7 out here then you have 1 plus 2 it's 3 3 plus 2 is 5 so you have 5 out here and 1 comes as it is so what you get in the end after addition of all columns is the answer of 54 cube which is 157464 four. alright you can try this particular technique for multiple numbers pick up any number you want cube it and use this technique and find the answer out Alright, so if you like what you see, give a thumbs up on this, also hit on the subscribe button and stay tuned for more on the series, you're watching Slide Nerd. Thank you. Hello you subscribers and watchers, this is Anki and you are watching Slide Nerd. Welcome to the new series of Math. Today we're going to learn about how to find a cube root of a given long number. Before we go ahead with how act actually you find out a cube root, let's have a look at the basic cubes of numbers from 1 to 10. So 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8, 3 is 27, 4, 64, 5, 125, 6, 216, 7, 343, 8, 512, 9, 729, and 10 is 1000. Now, the reason I'm asking you to have a look at these numbers are there's a specific pattern which these numbers actually follow. So if you actually look at them, 1 ends with the 1, 4 ends with the 4, 5 ends with the 5, 6 ends with the 6, 7 ends with a 3, 8 ends with a 2, and 9 ends with a 9. So let's have an attention over some specific set of numbers. 2, for example, the cube of 2 ends with the 8. Whereas the cube of 8 ends with the 2, so they form a 1 pair. 
Similarly, 3 ends with 7 and 7 ends with 3. So they form another pair. Except for 2 and 8, that's pair number 1. And 3 and 7, that's pair number 2. All other numbers end with the same respective number. That's 4 with 4, 5 with 5, 6 with 6, 9 with 9, 1 with 1. Alright, so keeping this in mind, let's tackle how to actually find out the cube root of a long number. Consider a number 110592. Now, since the number is ending with a 2, that means the last digit as per our table, which is available out here, should be 8. After getting the last digit, strike out the last 3 numbers and consider the first 3 numbers in this case, or the remaining numbers. What I have out here is 110, zero, that's 110. Now, if I look at this particular table out here, 110 is greater than 4 cube, that is 64, but less than 5 cube, that is 125. That means it is not crossing 5, hence we are going to use 4 as our hence digit. And hence, the answer for 110592 is 48, that is 48 cube is 110592. Alright, let's look at another example. So if I have a number 250047, let's use the same logic. 7, that means the last number has to be 3 because 3 enters the 7 and 7 enters the 3. So the last number has to be 3. After that, strike out the last 3 numbers and consider the remaining numbers. In this case, it is 250, that is 250. Now if I look at the table back out here, 250 lies between 6 and 7 because 6 it is greater than um, 216 but less than 343 that is 7 cube. Since it is not crossing 343 we are going to consider 6 as the tens digit. So if I combine together I have a 6 and I have a 3. So the answer is supposed to be 63 which is actually the answer. Alright so I hope you have understood this simple technique to find out the cube roots of any big numbers and this will specifically help you in multiple quants or quantitative examinations. Before I sign out from this particular video, a, a small exercise series for you all. Um, try these numbers and below on the comment box, um, yeah, I'll be happy if you can write the answers down if you understand the technique. And if you have some more simpler stuff which you can share, yeah, do feel free to actually write, write down the comment box given below. Alright, so if you like what you're watching, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button and comment as far as you want. Thanks for watching. You're watching slightly.